He might have to use that bumper or fender he was talking about now. Two laps remaining here at the world's fastest half mile. The teammates are duking it out. Kyle Busch looking to make more history. Oh. Logano wants a win at Bristol. Who's going to get it? White flag this time by. Half a mile to go. The race is between He's the there. teammates. He's there. How deep will he go? Side by side. Runs him up. Here they come for the strike. Who's going to win it? It looks out. like it's going to be. Yes, sir. You got it. Winning number 50. Number 50 that makes you the most winning in the nationwide. Good job. Wow, what a finish. Man. Look, look at the celebration. Joey Logano, a great run in second place. Third goes to Boyer. Edwards rallies from the penalty for fourth. And Eric Halmarola does it again. Finishes fifth. Seven-eighths of a mile to go for Ricky Stenhouse, Jr. He picked up his first career win here back in May. And all he has to do now is negotiate two more corners, and he's going to do it again at Iowa Speedway. He dominated last week, Marty. Didn't get the win, but it looks as though he's got a little redemption in mind here tonight. He, oh, look out as he has a tire situation. Here comes Edwards right into him. They cross the line, and guess who wins the race? Stenhouse. Thanks to Carl Edwards. Gave him a what a real crazy finish. Sadler comes across the line third. Wise fourth. Almarola fifth. And Reed Sorensen wins the hundred grand in the dash for cash. And Ricky wins for the second time. Courtesy of a shove from Carl Edwards. If Carl could have avoided him, he would have won the race, but he had nowhere to go. He couldn't react quick enough. That was, I've never seen anything like it. I've never had either. Look at what's left at the front end of the Fasten All Four. You could hear the rear tire spinning. And, and you couldn't see anything in neither car. No, and he couldn't steer. Kozlowski got bounced around, but we are still green. Let's cars, see. Cars all over the place down here in turns one and two. Not real sure how this is going to work out. Still no caution, though. We'll be coming to the white flag, Mike. Dale Earnhardt Jr. out front. Can he make it? White flag. 
Next flag ends the race. Hamlin trying to close. Track's clear. We're good to go. Seven back. Seven back. Harvick third. Reagan fourth. Logano fifth. What a topsy-turvy finish to the Coca-Cola 600. And Dale Jr. is scooting away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's slowing, isn't he? 150,000 people on their feet. Jr. Earth is slowing. He's out of fuel. He's out of, out of gas. And as at Indy, the leader at turn four does not get to the flag. Harvick. Harvick, the closer, wins it. Once again, where did he come from? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We needed 500 more feet. Everybody did a great job. Rompiendo allí la succión que trata de sacarle el 18 al líder Jimmy Johnson. Últimas dos, últimas dos, en la dos. Viene Jimmy, Harvick ahora arremete, viene por abajo. Ha dado cuenta del 18. Harvick entonces, viene Kevin, viene Jimmy Jones. Superado solamente por Jimmy Johnson. Chevy, Chevy, Toyota. Menos de dos en Fontana. Esto todavía no se define. En la frenada entrando la tres, cambió bajo, viene Kyle. Harvick ataca por afuera, Johnson que mantiene la primera posición, señores, nos encaminamos a la bandera blanca, Jimmy es el líder, Harvick segundo, Kyle tercero, sale la blanca, sale la blanca, entramos a la última vuelta, Johnson es el líder, Harvick canta de la dos, Kyle viene todavía tercero, radio más abierta en parte del 33, tramo final, última vuelta, Vamos, Harvick, en la succión, va a cambiar de línea, va a cambiar de línea, en dirección hacia la 3, Bancroft, empuja el 29, empuja el 29, empuja el 29 de Kevin Harvick, por ahí también dije el 33, sí, porque el 33 es el que corre, por, por fuera, por fuera, por afuera Harvick, por afuera viene Kevin, por afuera viene Kevin, última vuelta, cambio al frente, Kevin Harvick, viene Kevin, Kevin Harvick, Kevin Harvick, 29, se la lleva, Kevin Harvick es el ganador en Montana. Increíble, increíble final, ¿quién se lo iba a imaginar? Kevin Harvick gana hoy en Fontana. Victoria número 15 para él en la Copa Sprint de NASCAR. Sonrisas en el equipo Richard Shearer's Racing. <risa> their teammates as well. Johnson and Earnhardt Jr. White flag this time. Those have been the two best cars right there most of this race. They're the, just now showing it. The bell lap of the man who started up front leads it. Jeff Gordon. But here comes the next two pair. The, these two cats right here, they may have timed it out too. Let's see what happens down the back. Now they will get a draft off Mark Martin. And here's the slingshot to the outside. Stay together. That's what they're saying. Stay together. Push, push, push. Oh, we get tight down here in turn three. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. Fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with? And will it help the Jimmy's cars? Or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the trial. Watch out down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run, He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three uh, to the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boyer. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. Have you ever? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, we have I never. I have never seen anything like that. What a finish. 48. But Darrell, the start finish line here is a thousand feet further. And look how close it is. Four wide at the wire. That is just a beautiful thing right there. Two, four, six, eight cars. So close, we can hardly capture it with our stop motion camera. There's a look at it, and there is the margin. Stewart's won the pole for the Indy 500. He's won the IRL championship, twice the Sprint Cup championship. He's won everything at Daytona. And coming through the middle, Kurt Busch. Now down to the inside. 
Bobby Labonte in that 47 gave Trevor Bain a heck of a push. Now all they can do is try to hug the bottom of the racetrack and protect. I like what I'm, I tell you, that 22, though, is coming in a, with a head of steam. And Juan Pablo right on him. Looks like Tony and Mark might have a, I don't know if they got enough time to get back up there or not. I don't think they do. Dale Jr. checked and released at the infield care center. They'll face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead them to the white flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a setting duck right now. But we'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside trying to. Where did that 34 come from? Trying to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my gosh. spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya. And here they come through turn four. Gilliland, former pole center of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Trevor Bain is going to win the Daytona. Day 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 Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? That was awesome. That was awesome, Trevor. You are the man, buddy. You are the man. Everybody coming inside, congratulations <laughs> here. Oh, God.